Hey everyone and welcome to the video. So today I thought we'd take a look back at all the various AliExpress bands that I've actually received over the past few months since the Series 6 actually came out. So as soon as I placed my order because of the delay in basically the watch being delivered, I did actually go on AliExpress and order various different types of bands. This is my Series 6 and the band they actually came with was this one so it's the blue braided loop and basically got zero complaints with this it's very very comfortable basically you can put it on and off very very easily and basically it's so comfortable that at times you forget that you've even got a band there i didn't actually realize how good this was until i started receiving some of these other ones this being my first apple watch so obviously i hadn't personally experienced what it's like to try all these various different bands before um, with iphones and things like that generally I've, I've been doing it for quite a few years with the with the watch this is my first apple watch and i didn't really know what to expect when it comes to these kind of products but as you've seen in some of my previous videos that i did as these products were coming through the post um, some were good some not so good so we'll start with the early ones so a lot of these kind of ones so just a replica thought band sorry um, and these are just the old style, so these are just your, your normal sort of hook on them. You then have your actual hook and loop type of sports bands. Um, these ones, whilst they're good, um, I personally don't like them because of firstly the noise that they make when you're putting them on and off. And secondly, because they do actually make your arm quite sweaty. So in terms of categories, we could probably batch all of these together. So also you had your normal normal sport bands and then you got through an actual uh, solo loop replica but with this being a medium it's way too big so that one basically is useless to me um, if anybody wants it drop a comment down in the comment section below if you're close enough and you cover the postage basically i'll send it out to you then came yeah so we have a few different colors so you've got the black your normal blue and then the sport style one then came the Milanese Loop. This one, it was actually a lot more comfortable than I thought, but even still, it still catches on, on basically the, the hairs on your wrist. And for that reason, I still didn't actually like this as, as a daily sort of thing. Maybe as a one-off, it might be okay, but even the color, I literally just ordered one that I thought just for a test basically. And for that reason, it's not really something that I've used since the initial video where I actually showcased that. Similar thing with this one, the red one. Um, both of these are, are far too big for me. Even though it says 135 millimeters, that's if you actually compare this against the genuine braided loop, it's still a lot bigger and it seems to stretch a lot more as well. So that's one thing that I did notice straight away that these ones are a lot more stretchy. So in comparison to the braided loop as you can see it's it's bigger and this it's just different in the way that it actually grips your arm whereas these ones um the feel is different it does it's a bit more it does grip your arm a, a, a bit more so it makes it a lot more uh, sweaty essentially so that's your replicas of your solo loop essentially then we started getting all of the well actually the next one was the magnetic leather band and this one i didn't actually like at all simply because of the materials that they actually made it out of so the the for me personally this this was far too big so in order to get this to actually bite on i pretty much had to have it looped like that so it was right to the end and obviously it's, it's on the outside that it actually binds on the magnets themselves are nice and strong and in terms of how it grips is is pretty good but it's just really really rigid and basically when you double these up by the time you've got that on your wrist it's just uncomfortable i, I just didn't find this comfortable at all it's not real leather um, they basically advertised it as leather and then the product that i received actually turned out to be a sort of silicon silicon wrap around the actual magnets so that didn't really impress me very much this one I did actually like same same for both of these both of these i did actually like i'm so past dealing with traditional style watch bands um the other thing about both of these is more so this this one i think where the it's got the old style of pin in between 
uh, the leather in, in terms of actually holding it on and uh, that to me didn't seem very reliable so I think if this was used as a daily sort of band then it wouldn't actually last very long. So that then brings us down to basically what's left here. So this one I'll throw that one in that was another replica braided loop um, that's the old style where it just goes straight down and I recently basically just a couple of days ago I made a video on this one and this one so these ones are identical and in terms of matching it up against the actual product I got from Apple as you can see it's slightly smaller it's also slightly different material so this is actually more of a, a cloth it's more of an, a just a normal elastic if you just think of a normal elastic that's that's basically what that feels like this one was, was supposed to have been a one-for-one -one replica this is probably the most expensive band that I've purchased single band that I purchased um, some of these orders because they were placed together um, they weren't they came to more but this one was basically it was supposed to have been the one for one and as you can see it's clearly not a one for one I mean it just looks cheap and as I highlighted on that initial video you can see that they've literally glued this down really really shoddy workmanship basically so that one I was disappointed with these two I was actually pleased with but the problem was the seller disappeared with the one problem that all of these bands still leave you is um, I actually bought a 44 mil for my daughter and the reason I went for the 44 and not the 42 or whatever this uh, the 40 the smaller size was because we wanted the extra battery life and basically just a bigger screen now the problem that gives you is all of the band manufacturers especially on places like AliExpress they just assume if you've gone for the bigger band that you've got a bigger wrist so the smallest sizes that they will do is like this one so this one grips my arm quite well um, it is a bit tighter than this one but because it's a softer material it doesn't really impact you too much but obviously for anybody and this is mainly for girls uh, women out there that obviously have smaller wrists and this was the problem that was fine trying to find a band for my daughter I ordered several bands that basically they just sat in one of the drawers right now because they're, they're too big that's where this one comes in so this is the latest band that I've actually received and I believe this may actually help in terms of alleviating a lot of the problems that arose from trying to find a braided loop if I can actually get it out a braided loop with the smaller size as well as eliminating some of the, the possible flaws in the design so the first thing is in terms of the weak points so the weak points on all of these as you can see is generally where they try and bind it into the clasp and that's generally where um, all of the previous bands so even this one included you can see that one split there but the initial split actually started right at the top I believe this is where this one might actually be an upgrade even though it looks different and it's it's completely different in terms of it's not the, the solo loop type of look or the, the braided loop type of look but what it will do is firstly it gives you the smaller size so this I believe is available in a SS um, I'm not sure which one I've actually received here so yeah the one I've received is just a small I believe some sellers actually sell this in a SS which is a super small so if you if you wanted to you could even go smaller than that the other thing that it does do is it means that you have free movement of the actual clasps now I'm not overly pleased about the old style I've mentioned this before the old style pin between the actual clasp uh, holding it on but in this scenario obviously what it does mean is that they can bind this sort of fake leather onto the braid and in theory what that will do is it'll stop it from actually fraying by being clasped into well, into the, the clasp basically so when you actually put this one on so that's essentially what it ends up as so in terms of here in terms of the, the watch body it's nice and uniform and I'm not going to try this one on because this one will be way too small for me but um, I have tested this with my younger daughter just putting it up against a wrist without the watch in place and it seemed to to be a better fit so for me personally I think for a lot of people out there this might actually be a good uh, a viable option in terms of trying to find something and that is the feel of these whilst obviously giving you the smaller size um, I'm not sure how this is going to come across on camera on 
the phone screen this actually looks a kind of peachy color the color of this is actually pink it's not as bright as some of the pinks that i've received but it is a sort of muted muted pink um nothing garish basically but as you can see from this the sizing just there it means that that's your your typical original genuine one um this one is your supposed one for one replica which is still smaller it's still smaller than that one mainly because this one still only does small medium large sizes then you have this one which even though it looks bigger it is actually tighter on the wrist simply because it's a different material and then finally you have this one where you can clearly see that that's a lot smaller um, if I just compare this one to this so this is a small size on most sellers kind of listings so that's a small and that's a small but as you can see clearly that's a lot smaller so it will be a lot more usable for basically all the women and anybody with smaller wrists out there that are looking for something that fits right because in order for these bands to work they need to actually grip your wrist tightly so if it's not doing that then basically it's not going to work properly and your sensors on your watch aren't going to work and it'll, it'll make it more uncomfortable you, these kind of solo bands only work once it's actually fully tight so yeah i just wanted to make that video with a final roundup i believe this is now all of the bands that i've ordered so this this is basically it there won't be any more that i've actually ordered nothing new in terms of designs that I've seen on AliExpress that actually differs from any of these. Hopefully all of these videos that I've been making has helped some of you guys out there. I know the original ones on the fake silicon braided loop ones saved a lot of people from buying basically fake bands. Were advertised as braided loops but were made out of silicon. Hopefully this video will help some of you out there that are looking for something similar, something as close to it as possible. So these ones I really like. These ones are really comfortable. Even though the look is different, it's not the same sort of look. It is a very, very comfortable band. Um, if these ever get to the point where they actually match in the quality, then yeah, fair enough, that could be a viable option. Right now they're not. And I've tried several sellers. Um, I've tried, as you can see from these, I've tried some have not even turned up. So in terms of reliability, it wasn't great. And then the new one, is this one which basically hopefully gives anybody with smaller wrists out there a better option in terms of finding something that is actually suitable um, looks good looks decently built uh, won't fall apart on you after just a couple of uses as some of these ones have um, and hopefully should be a bit more comfortable than basically all of these kind of standard uh, sport bands essentially anyway if you have enjoyed the video please leave it a thumbs up down below if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any new videos. Um, I do have so a few more AliExpress videos coming. There's a few products I'm waiting on. Nothing to do with Apple Watch, hence why this is the last one for Apple Watch for now. Unless somebody has something to say down in the comments where they've, they've got a different type of band that they recommend. But I do have some more iPhone videos coming. So obviously hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those. Other than that, thank you very much for watching.